Good morning, guys. It's Jaeger262, and welcome back to Armored Warfare. So it is Thursday, November 7th, but that means that Armored Warfare is celebrating Polish Independence Day. And so for anybody that doesn't know, that syncs up with Veterans Day in America and Armistice Day in Europe. It's November 11th, and it's to commemorate the same thing, the end of the First World War. But for Poland, that was a special occasion because not only did the end of the First World War mean an end to hostilities, it also meant that the Polish kingdom was finally reunited into a single nation again. So, very special day for Poland coming up, and we're for America and Europe on Monday. To celebrate this, of course, as you can see in front of you, they released a Poland ball skin for the PL01 Concept Tier 10 light tank. For anybody that doesn't know, Poland Ball is a famous comic coming, I believe, out of Poland initially, but now anybody in the world does it. Uh, it's basically countries' flags are represented by little characters. This would be Poland's up here. And it's just really great fun. So they collaborated with them to create this skin, but that's not all that they're doing for Independence Day or I should say for Polish Independence Day. You're also going to be able to get a winged Hussar decal, a Poland Ball avatar, and a platinum supply crate along with rentals for the Rosamac Mark I with this skin, the Waha, the Wadaha skin, which is inspired by actual Polish camouflage and then of course some barbed wire wool motifs to make it just a little bit more interesting. This is exactly the same thing as the KTO Rosamac Mark I, just an interesting skin. You will also get a rental for the Martyr II. Now while the Martyr II is always on sale on my loot and in the premium shop, the Rosamac Mark I is not. And so that will be available, I think through Monday, you can pick it up as part of the Polish Independence Day uh, stuff. And also, they are selling the T-72 Wilk, which is the modernized Polish version of the T-72 main battle tank. That is also going to be sold for a limited time to commemorate Polish independence. Now, besides all the great Polish stuff that's going on right now, which I'm personally excited for, the newest update, even though it's entering a test phase, they kind of dropped it, was to introduce infantry into armored warfare now i know that's not a new story i covered and i apologize for that so i'm going to do it really quick basically three types of infantry are being added it's going to be an anti-tank team snipers and a mortar team and essentially any vehicle like the ktl rosamac which actually is a true apc or infantry fighting vehicle in real life will be able to deploy a squad of three soldiers intermitten intermittently as part of an upgrade system throughout the battle and it's pretty self-explanatory so three soldiers will be deployed to a single location, and if it's the anti-tank squad, they will immediately start targeting enemy vehicles that are closest to them. The mortar squad will immediately start targeting general areas closest to them, like artillery. And the sniper squad will target other infantry units. So don't worry if this sounds like it's going to be a little bit hectic or chaotic on the battlefield. Uh, the developers in Armored Warfare have kind of seen that, so it was supposed to go live today but it is very limited right now. It's technically in a public test on the main server. Uh, I don't know why, I guess in the test server they just proved to be too hard to balance, but those will be coming into a more permanent role very soon. And it should be interesting. It adds a weird and strange dynamic to the game. But like I said, one unit, the snipers, is there to offset other units. Uh, I don't know what that's actually going to mean for Armored War for us. It's going to look like. I don't know where they're testing it right now. It might be limited just for global operations or just for PvE. I will have to double check that and I'll make a subsequent video if I'm able to use any units in the game with any of my APCs or if you guys are able to use the units or already have since the update. Please let me know what it's like to use infantry. How do you feel about it? Um, or if you're getting attacked by infantry, what does it actually bring to the game, what does it change, does it make it harder for you guys to play or not? These are all things I'll probably be looking into in like the next week as this update is finally becoming, <clears throat> excuse me, live. But other than that, Armored Warfare is 
pretty much the same as it always is <laughs> for now. So don't worry too much about infantry just yet. Not a huge problem. And enjoy Polish Independence Day. There's a couple of boosters up. Enjoy your gift, which will give you the, you know, the Avatar, Platinum Supply Crate, and the rentals for these interesting Polish vehicles. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, or subscribe to the channel if you want subsequent Armored Warfare videos, or if you want to see anything I'm going to be doing about the infantry coming up. And as always, I will see you next time.